In order to subdue his new Welsh conquests, Edward of England commissioned a series of castles to be constructed around the coast of North Wales. Designed by a master French architect and built by English craftsmen, each castle was the latest in modern military engineering. Conway Castle featured arrow slits, murder holes, lavish apartments for the king, and a sunless dungeon for the prisoners. On Anglesey, King Edward uprooted the Welsh population of Llanweis and moved it to a new site, Newborough, 12 miles away. The empty buildings of Llanweis were used to create the town and moated castle of Beaumaris, whose name in French means beautiful marsh. From his castle at Rhythlan, the king issued a statute which imposed English laws and administration on the Welsh people. And at Carnarvon Castle, built near the Roman fort of Segontium, King Edward nominated his eldest son, born in the Eagle Tower, as the first in a line of English princes of Wales. But in 1400, a middle-aged country gentleman, descended from the royal Welsh houses, claimed back the title for Wales. A dispute over the land with Lord Grey of Rhythin resulted in Owen Glyndwr's first uprising. After sacking and burning Rhythin, Owen and his men attacked the towns and castles of Denby and Rhythlin. Over the next few years, Owen Glyndwr and his elusive army, camping in the hills and riding on Welsh ponies, waged a guerrilla war against the English intruders. At last, with the help of French warships, Owen captured Harlech and Carnarvon castles and held most of Wales in his control. This latest Prince of Wales was crowned during his first parliament at Machantleth. Owen made his headquarters in Harlech Castle, but after four years it was besieged and taken back by Prince Hal of England. However, Owen and one son had already fled to the mountains. Hiding in caves like those above Beardgellet, Owen and his men continued to skirmish with the English. And when or where the last Welsh Prince of Wales died, or whether he lives on in the mountains of Snowdonia, no one knows. Seventy years later, a Welshman of royal lineage challenged Richard III of England for his kingdom. Henry Tudor and his army marched along the drovers' roads from Aberdovey to Shrewsbury. At the Battle of Bosworth Field, King Richard was killed, and Henry was proclaimed Henry VII, the first Welshman to ascend the English throne. Henry allowed Welshmen to hold important offices once more, and several of the Wynne family living in Gwydir Castle, became members of Parliament for the county. On their estate near Penmachno, William Morgan was born at Timaur. Son of a tenant farmer, he became Bishop of St. Asaph, and in 1588, the first translator of the Bible into Welsh. Sir John Wynne's reputation is not so honourable. Because of his harshness towards his servants and tenants, Sir John's soul was forever condemned to the pool below Swallow Falls, where his moans can always be heard. <laughs>